Oh, what up? My name is Nick. This is Juliana. And this is your weekly student newscast. Bishop Knowles Student Council is hosting their annual Thanksgiving food drive, which will begin next Monday, November 11th. This year, the school's goal is 4,300 items. All students that bring in 10 items of food will get a comfy day sometime before Thanksgiving. Those that bring in 25 items will, bring, will be allowed to watch a movie during the afternoon of Tuesday, November 26th. All food will be donated to St. Joseph's Soup Kitchen in Hammond, Indiana. Although they accept ramen noodles, students are encouraged to bring in cans of vegetables and canned protein like tuna and chicken. Packages of ramen noodles will not be counted as part of the tally for the comfy day or movie day. It is for all to meet their goal. It's really important for us because we really want to help the St. Joseph Soup Kitchen and we don't want to let them down. We want everyone to have full tummies Thanksgiving, this Thanksgiving. The Bishop Knoll Drama Department is excited to announce the fall comedy written by Neil Simon called Fools. Come out and enjoy a funny and talented group of kids perform on stage on November 15th and 16th at 7.30 p.m. and on November 17th at 2.30 p.m. Hope to see you all there. Okay, so this year we are doing a play called Fools by Neil Simon. It is a comedic fable, so it's like a fairy tale. Um, it is about a village of everybody who is cursed to be complete idiots. They're all stupid. They think that you get cream if you milk a cow upside down. That's how stupid they are. Um, and then a teacher comes to town to try to break the curse, but then he ends up falling in love with one of the girls in the village. Somebody else is already in love with her, and then shenanigans happens. And he may or may not break the curse. Who knows? Um, because it's funny. <laughs> I wanted to do something that's really, really silly and something that in, in, if I was a show, this is the kind of show I would be because it's really goofy and silly. But it also, it breaks the fourth wall a lot. So, and I think in the past students told me that they've done shows here before where they've talked to the audience and the audience likes to be involved in the show. And this is a kind of show where I don't want the audience to be involved per se, but we talk a lot to the audience and it's just, it's a lot of fun. The National Honor Society is hosting their first blood drive of the year on November 20th. All students over the age of 16, with parent consent, are able to donate blood. Every little bit of blood counts. This year, the blood drive will be held in the field house. If you want to sign up, we will have people around lunch to uh, write people's names down and what period you want to go. Or you can also sign up online through the Versity website. If you want to donate, you can donate as soon as you're 16 with a parent uh, signature and a permission slip. But if you are 17, you can donate and sign yourself up whenever you want. Why should students donate blood? Students should donate blood because it's important that, especially during this time of season where a lot of people get into car accidents because of bad weather conditions, that a lot of people need blood. And so it's good to donate blood so that we can help those who are in need, especially those who are in need of good health. Thank you. The Bishop Knoll Student Council has been given an opportunity to witness an amazing live performance of the Blue Man Group in Chicago for absolutely no charge no charge yeah that's right it has been rescheduled for november 14th the show starts at 8 and will end approximately around 9 30. come out and enjoy a night of fun they actually were a donation i've never seen any of it so all of it i'm really excited bishop knows spanish three and four went to the mexican art museum in chicago on october 30th they went on the field trip to further their study in mexican art after the museum, the students had a chance to explore Pilsen to see what it has to offer to the Latino community. And here's Brittany and Ian with your weekly sports. Hi, my name is Brittany. And my name is Ian. And, and this, this is, is your, your weekly, weekly sports, sports update. update. After kicking off their season with a scrimmage against Gary Westside, the girls' basketball team's first regular season game is this upcoming Tuesday against Highland at home. JV is at 5.30 in Varsity at 7. The Fall Sports Banquet is tonight, Friday, November 8th, and doors open at 5.30. That being said, the Varsity boys hockey team closed out the Fort Wayne tournament this past weekend, 4-0. They ended the tournament by defeating the defending state champion, Team Riley, 3-2. The team was led by goals from Bishop Knoll's own Ricky Bozek. That's it for this week's sports update. Now here's Nico and Cece with Student Live. Hi, I'm Cecilia. I'm here with Bree, Maria, Paloma, Matthew, Carlos, and we're going to make a TikTok.
<laughs> I'm here with Darcy and Naomi. And they're gonna make a TikTok. To invoice for whatever we are on purpose. European card came with curtains. I have a dot on buying a baby burger. To invoice for whatever we are on purpose. European card came with curtains. I have a dot on buying a baby burger. Okay, I'm here with Almighty Clock God. <laughs> and T Money from 63rd. <laughs> and they're gonna be recreating a TikTok for us. Oh, what up, what up? 